So this is the temporary pseudo random magnetic field displacement coordinator room. Oh right. Yeah. Have you? T can you make sure you take off all of your metal objects? Uh, anything? Just no pacemakers? Any of that stuff? Cell phones? Well, I've got like a gun. Does that count? Uh, that should be fine. Just bring that with you. Oh. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh no. Well. Mm, okay. Now take it off. Just take all the metal stuff off. Metal. Take your belt off. Take your shoes off. Oh, well, I mean, I am wearing armour, basically, uh, on my skin. It's mostly leather, so just come on. So uh, this is the experimental pocket dimension. Just head through okay. into the pocket dimension. Now, this is oh. what we created. It's quite nice. Um, as you'll see, uh, as I can show people, that, that you know, it's bigger on the inside. You know, round the back, nothing, just a big empty room. Go through into the pocket dimension, and we're in a pocket dimension. Now, oh. this is where we started doing all of our experiments. And obviously, the nice thing about Pocket Dimension is you can store stuff in here. Uh, we, we constructed a little house in here to have a sort of testificate ex isolation experiments, you know, see if they see if they can live in here. I do have a slight concern, Lewis. What's all this black stuff? Oh, this is the fabric of reality. Oh, right, OK. Yeah. Uh, Don't worry. Can we dig it up? Uh, ooh, uh, not really. No. No, I mean, not really. Come over here. So if you just, uh, if you just check out this, this is this is oh, just to show you that. Hello there. You know the pigs. He seems to be doing quite well here. The animals seem to be okay. Yeah. I mean, there are a few tears in the fabric of space time. Well, of course there is. But I mean, that's to be expected, really. Obviously. Now, the first things first. If you make a pocket universe. You can get out of the pocket universe again an equal a distance from the previous pocket universe. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I, you know, I, I know that. Of course, you, you know, you're talking to me as though I don't know these things. So a, a silver door will take you down a level into, like... It's like it's like Inception, OK? We went through a door. We're now in a pocket universe. Now, we can go through other another door like this. Am I Leonardo DiCaprio? And if we go through another door, it'll take us into another pocket universe, OK? Right. But we don't really want to go through there because there could be anything through there. It might be dangerous. We haven't checked it out. We can't just, can't just roam around in random pocket universes. There could be... Like a beast in the woods. Can't be dealing with that. That's crazy. Don't worry about that. I'm just clearing that rift up. Don't worry in space time. I've got a rift remover for space time clearing. Don't worry about it. Looks a bit like a flower. It's quite good at this kind of stuff. So if we just check out the alternative exit, this will take us back up a level, wake us up. Ah, good. So in you go into the reality. Oh. Uh. Ah. Oh, the wave maker. Right, gotcha. This brings us out in the wave maker. Now, this was quarantined, obviously, because of the whole oh. space time rupture rift thing. And these certificates here are all sort of quarantined and trapped right. in the wave maker. But anyway, let's head back through into and go deeper into the dream. We have to go deeper. We have to go much deeper. So let me just show you sort of what we've got here at the Yog Lab. So ah. this is Dimension 2 rip warning. Now, we started going deeper and deeper and it started making these weird holes in space time. So oh, that's what that noise was. Be careful. Um, just stick to me. Follow the road, lads, and uh, follow the assigned pathways. And oh. I don't know that. You... Do you know what you're dealing with here? Well, not really. Keep going. Oh, no, not him. Don't worry. Just keep oh, going. Oh, God. OK. All right. Your head's on back to front. Yep. Don't worry. That happens. Oh, no. You're, you're good. You're good. So come through this one. Uh, Where are you? I'm here behind you. Oh, are you? I can't see you. You may not be able to see me. Temporary blindness is... Well, anyway, we're going this way. Oh. It's the TARDIS. Uh, oh, uh, oh, where's this taking us? Uh, well, anyway, follow me, just down here. We're in the coffee machine, Lewis. Don't worry about this. We're in the coffee machine. Well, this is what I said, this d dimensional tearing, dimensional damage. Is that where the and... coffee machine's been broken all this time? I don't know, just keep going. Look, we'll get through this. I, uh, what the hell is this? Oh, don't worry, this is a, this is a temporary garage for all of our vehicle storage for the, um... Can't we play with some of these... Things. Look at this. There's tanks. There's what? there's helicopters. These have been stolen. They're they're getting ready for the upcoming battles of your labs. Wait, but Go what? Government. Don't worry. It's the what storage. are you talking? Storage. <laughs> this, these aren't Russian. Russia just didn't provide these. Oh. Uh, oh, careful. I'm 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 above where we were. Don't worry. This is fine. Keep going. Go on. Oh God, which one? Uh, straight straight on. Just this one. Okay. Uh, this. Ah, hello. Oh, hello. Oh, sort of get lost there. Okay, yeah. Don't worry, a power surge sort of it ruptured a lot of space time and uh, things got a bit broken. Anyway, keep coming with me. Right. Oh yeah, don't oh, worry. Here we are. No, no, no. This way. This way. 
Uh, we want to go this way. Follow me. Oh, okay, good. Uh, oh, yeah, this way, out here. What's this thing? Don't worry. Don't worry about this. Just, uh, it's just stuff. An art of... Oh, my God! What? What? Ha! Just come on. What? Keep up. What the hell? Lu what, Lewis? Keep up. What the hell is that thing? Don't worry about that. It's just a giant robot we're building. Okay. Relax. Wait, what? It's all under control. It's all, it's all classified. Technology, bro. What do you mean it's all classified? I'm right behind you. I'm here. I'm here, buddy. Don't go through that door. That's dangerous. Don't go through the door. This way. Oh. Okay, down here. Oh. Whoa. Ah. Okay. And then. Ah. We're back. We're back in the pocket. Ah. Well, crikey, that was. Uh, and there's the pig. That was quite a uh, quite an adventure. What? What on earth was the point of all that? <laughs> what was that all about? <laughs> So there you go, that's, uh, that's Dimensional Doors. I don't know where I am or what, what I am anymore. Now, there's obviously, there's obviously a, few other, a, few, a few other sort of aspects to this mod that we can actually just have a quick look at. Now, um, this mod will occasionally, if we head back to the ladies' lavatory... I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> it will occasionally end up teleporting you to a kind of strange place now a lot of these doors when they teleport you somewhere so i mean we could just plonk down a door like this any anywhere right and go in um and it'll take us to this kind of very dark area yeah this is scary it's pretty damn scary you're right but you can always plonk another door down and go somewhere even scarier now if you end up doing this too much or or enough i suppose um it will sometimes teleport you to a kind of place that is is not dark and black a place that actually has doors in it that is populated oh. kind of randomly and it's like a kind of different actual dun it's called a sort of dimension so you want dungeon. to keep putting doors down until this happens yeah but we've already found one actually this is one of the ones from the ladies toilet so gotcha they do sometimes spawn out in the wilderness like this this is a sort of naturally spawning one. Oh right gotcha so we can actually go through here so this portal here will take us somewhere oh okay oh hello hello so what on earth now this thing here is like a pyramid and it's got eight doors now some of these will lead to other rooms with other doors some of them will lead to traps horrible devious traps that kill you and others will lead to treasure treasure beyond your wildest imagination simon okay i'll go with that one rather than the, the death now what you need to do is if the the key with this is right if you if you're scared uh turn around <laughs> and get the fuck out okay. of the door you just came in gotcha okay chuck and tuesday <laughs> <laughs> okay so pick a door at random yep go through it oh what have you got what have you found it seems to be another place with these weird blocks, similar to the one with the temple. There's a chest here, though. How have you found that? Oh, you found a treasure room. Hooray! There's a chest over here, look. Yeah. There's this packing crate over this side of the room. There you go. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Redstone, beans, and... So nothing of any amazing value. No, but... Well, well, that was worth risking death. The doors are very cheap, and as you go deeper and deeper, oh. it gets more valuable. So we're only at level, like, two here anyway. So if I go through here... Yeah, you'll go even deeper into the... Into the... Into the... Into things. Uh, this way, I mean, Oh, it's taking us back here. Oh. More to a similar room. Where did you go? Did you go back through? Oh, my God. Hang on, I'm going back through... Hello, there. You want to be very careful not to get lost. Yeah. So here we've got a door, but remember we had two doors here before. There's only now one. Oh. And there's another pyramid of eight doors. So it's a different pyramid of eight doors. So if I go through the same door as before, it's not the same place at all. No, it won't be the same place. It's like a weird maze kind of place. Oh, God. Okay, I'm going right. Um, so, oh, God. Oh. Oh, I found a stairway going up and a door. Now, silver doors, remember, they take you deeper into the oh, into the dimensions. Okay. And br and wooden doors will take you up out of the dimensions. Right. Now, if you build a dimensional trap door, it will always take you back oh. out. But So it's worth build, bringing a trap door with you if you're going to go dungeon exploring. Okay. Oh, oh my God, we found a treasure chest. Oh, uh, oh, 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 God. 
as a silver fish just came out. Jeff! Hello? Oh, God. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh this is oh, bad. God, it's a trap room. Get out here! Get out, get, get out, out, get out, get out, get out! The get fabric, out. The fabric of space is in... Oh. Ah, why, Jeff? Why? Oh, oh God. <laughs> so, oh, crap. Have you died? By death. Death by Jeff. Now, if you just press respawn... Oh my god, I'm in space! Now, you're not in space. That's the Earth below me! You're in limbo. Um, I'm falling. I'm falling. Okay. Simon, the, there's like a black landscape, Lewis. Oh my god. I can't believe you didn't manage to get out of that door. So... There's a hundreds of different horrible, horrible traps that you have to escape from. Some of them you can fight your way out. Some of them you can't fight your way out. Lewis? I'm coming to you, Simon. Don't worry, I think. Where am I? And so, yeah, all these traps, there can be, like, um, all sorts of horror. Where are you? Are you? I'm... Hang on, let me see if I can teleport over. I think it's put us in random spots in the limbo. Hello? Hello. Now, in order to get out of limbo... Uh, we need to dr we need to drive. Yeah, let's sure let's drive. I like that we're still wearing the hats. <laughs> let's drive, Simon. <laughs> let's. Okay, I'm in the I'm in there. F five. We have to travel to zero on the on the, oh this is this this car is. Oh my god! Look above us. It's like there's a star and it's being sucked into like something. Well, oh, this this truck is not working. We shouldn't have. Honestly, we can get out. All right, let's get, get rid of it. Get out of there. It's not the best vehicle. Uh, all right, I'm at... Oh. There are other vehicles... Ah, oh, there we are. There's other vehicles we could possibly use. Let me... Something a bit less broken. Well, they're all pretty broken. Let's try and find a flat area to place it down on. But what we're looking to do is we're looking to try and get to the very bottom of Limbo. That's how you get out. And it's very, very dark and annoying in here. Can we fall down or would we die? Uh... I think you would probably die. Oh, God. But I don't know whether there is actually full damage because... I dropped... I just dropped down off the side here. Yeah. How did that work out? Uh, I'm alive. Okay. Everything's very dark. Are there monsters here? Oh, uh, no, there's nothing here. Um... All right, there you go. <laughs> oh, for God's sake, you've got to be <laughs> shitting me. <laughs> no, I don't even think we can actually fly these bad boys. Uh, without the proper... F oh, no, it looks like we can. Uh, hello. Well, this is the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. So, we want to fly down into limbo. Is that worked? Are we free? Have you just spawned another plane? Hello? And another plane. Oh, bollocks. <laughs> I can't see what's going on. Oh. oh, well, I died. Death attack plane, it said. So I managed to die in limbo. <laughs> but there we go. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Bye! Bye.